Okay, come on, people. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's move it. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Move it. Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Move. Hurry up. Go. Go. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Go. Let's move it. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hey, we made it. <laughs> Tell me again. I need to hear you say it. Is it all gone? Yep. All 92 American dollars. You sure? We could go back and find it thugs. How many pancakes can we get with 92 dollars? <laughs> 92 at least. Alice. Come on, you wanna get fat like them? Maybe you can apply for a job here. Oh. Who told you about coming in here? Alice, where are we going? Alice, we're in America. The police here don't know anything about what happened to Chen. Wait. Sir! Sir! Ken, no! Are you throwing us away? Alice! Come on! Alice, a tree. Where do you think Dad is now? Alice, cheer up. Soon we'll be swimming in hot tubs and eating strawberry pancakes for breakfast. Before we know it, we'll have the money to bring Dad here. Can 
setup here? Yeah, sure. Set up right there. Thank you. There are no more appointments, Mr. Sullivan. Do you need anything else? No, thank you. Do you want me to bring you some lunch before I go? Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary. I only have a few calls to make. <laughs> Thanks. Such a lovely day. Mm. I'll see you on Monday, Mr. Sullivan. Monday. Now, oh, have a good weekend. This is a real famous painter from Asia. Anyone want to buy her paintings? Want to buy some paintings, sir? Okay. Under the leg. <laughs> want to buy my sister's paintings? They're from Asia. Want to buy her paintings, man? Hey, man, want to buy some paintings? Don't touch me. Kim, what are you doing? Stop it. I told you I don't want to fight anymore. I'm sorry, we're open by appointment only. You're Justice Sullivan. Yes. Marcus Jelani. Mr. Jelani. I am surprised we have never met before. Of course, I've heard a great deal about you. And, of course, your magnificent collection. I hear you're the type of guy who can give me something special. Special? I can help with that. <laughs> Look at this, Alice. We're filthy rich. Come on. Let's celebrate with strawberry pancakes. Hey! Give me the bag! <laughs> Are you okay? Go get him! Get her bird back! <laughs>
Thank you so much, officers. So you'll be sure to... Come to the station tomorrow morning, first thing, and look at mugshots, right. Oh, I'll be there with bells on. <sighs> Don't worry, they won't be back. You heard me tell them that some kids chased away the thug. Hispanic kids. Go sit down, I'm gonna go get the food. Not a chance. If the police find me. No way. I'm staying right here. Alice, stop worrying. Ta-da! I don't mess around in the kitchen. This is the biggest burger I've seen in my life. It's like a cow died on a plate. <laughs> Alice, you are in for a treat. Shove over you. Oh, are you a vegetarian? Oh, what the heck are you waiting for? Dig in! Wow. This is the best hamburger in America. Huh. You guys were sure hungry. I bet you two came in on that container ship. Am I right? Jeez, you saved my life. You can trust me. Can we help you clean up the dishes? Do you kids have a place to stay? Yes, with some relatives. Mm. My ass, but never mind. We probably should go. Thank you so much for dinner. Should I call you a cab? No, we like to walk. Me too. I was on my way home. We'll walk with you. Oh, that would be swell. I guess uh, I'm starting to feel a little, oh, I don't know. That was really something, wasn't it? The way you two just slammed him. Hmm. Do you think you could meet me here every night until they catch that guy? Sure. Well, what time? Uh, 4.30. 3.30 if you want a burger. Oh, great. Come on, it's just down this way. Oh, you have no idea how happy I'm right Asian girl, maybe in her early 30s, <laughs> shot in the chest. Washed up here a couple hours ago, maybe three or four days in the water. Anything else? Let me take a look. Nothing. Pretty girl. Okay, get some pictures. Let me know when you get something on it. Check with the ME. All right.
Hey, want to see my sister's painting? Hey, you want to see my sister's painting? Uh, I'm okay. They're good. Want to buy my sister's painting? Want to buy my sister's painting? Nah, man. Stop it. We don't need the attention. Anyone? No, thank you. Want to see my sister's painting? <laughs> ah! Let's give him a show. Come on. Come on, get up. Alice, come on. They want to see you do something. Ken, no! <laughs> come on, they want to see you do something. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alice Chung, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. More money, please. Thank you. More money, please. <laughs> yeah, we're rich. <laughs> You're so crazy. Do you like the acrobatics? Because we can do more. I like this. This is beautiful. Did you do this? I'm interested in meeting the painter. You like my work? Very much. East Asian, am I right? All the tools in the market are from in the What's happening? The usual. The police are checking for market permits. But sometimes, that's just their way of finding illegals. But of course, you have a market permit, right? Come, my gallery's right up the street. Your what? My art gallery. Come. Come. Come.
Do this all belong to you? Well, these are all my painters. People whose work I love and try to sell. Is this your first time in a gallery? I've seen them on TV before. Our dad has a shop where we sell paintings. Copies of paintings. Not like these. Originals. Wait a minute. Do you mind? I'd like to see all of them, if that's okay. Oh. This one. And this one. Hmm. You want to buy them? How much? Four six zero zero. Ken. U.S. dollars. <laughs> really? I think that's a little high. I think I would try for a thousand. Uh, maybe a little more. You mean one thousand U.S. dollars? What is your name? Alice, and this is my brother, Ken. Alice, I would like to try to sell your work. What do you think? I. I'll take three. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, no, that's just a copy. Yes, I know. Cezanne. Not the same size, of course. You did this. In my country, people only want European art. No one wants originals. originals. Hmm. The light. Here. And here. You got it exactly right. Well. No more of this. From now on, only originals. Come, sit. My name is Justice Sullivan. I invest in people I think have potential, like you, Thomas. Here's what we can do. You loan me those three paintings to hang here in the gallery, and in exchange, I give you a small fee for the privilege of selling your work. Now, should we get lucky, the gallery's commission is 50%. How much fee? Um, five hundred dollars. A deducted, of course, from the proceeds of the sale. Whether they sell or not, the five hundred is yours to keep. <sighs> what about this? Oh, you can keep that as well. Alice and Ken. Your last name? Chiang. Spell that, please. Q I A N G. <laughs> Alice, what? It's in your paintings. Anyways, now you'll be famous. Well, if that's all settled, I'll have my secretary draw up a contract tomorrow. Where can I reach you? Well... We'll figure that out later. In the meantime, how about joining me for dinner? Well, let's celebrate. No, it's okay. Thank you. You've done so much for us. Don't be silly. I'll tell you what. My house is not very far from here, and I have a wonderful housekeeper who cooks for me. What would you like? Steak? Pasta? W what about a hamburger? We probably can manage that. Come on. Wait. My paintings. Of course. Welcome to my home. There's so many. Where did you get all of this? Some I bought, some were gifts. In one day, I've seen more original painting than in my whole life. I have quite a few I think you would appreciate. Right this way, one of my favorites. This one, oh, this one. I got it in Paris. That was about five, six years ago. And this one I picked up in Moscow. And here's the TV room. It's like a movie theater. <laughs> Look at these. 
Can we watch one? Again, not now. Sure, why not? You can come over and watch movies anytime you want. Now, Alice, here is the pierce de resistance. I used to paint myself. I don't much anymore. But this is my favorite part of the house. I admit to having a bit of a love affair with art. I guess I discovered that my talent was more about finding original artists than making original paintings. All this and no one? No. A bit of a waste, really. Sort of like the TV room. Use it whenever you want. Why? Why me? I mean, why us? Well, like I said, my talent is for finding artists, helping to bring new work into the world when I find someone I believe in. Come on, let's eat. So why did you come to the United States? Because I want to be a painter. You don't sound very convinced. Do you have family here? No, it's just us. What? Might as well tell the truth. So, where are you staying? Uh, just as I thought. Let me guess. Maybe a park? You're very lucky, you know. Many people don't even survive the journey. You must have wanted to come here very badly. Hmm. All right, then. You need a place to stay. And as you see, I have a lot of spare rooms. Can we, Alice? Can we? We appreciate that. But we will be fine. Thank you. Look, I have been very lucky in my life. And I like to give back when I can. We're living the dream. Shh, no one starts to live up. Good morning. Strawberry pancakes are on the table. Did you ask for them? I told him they were your favorite. <laughs> oh, good, you found the paints already. Sorry, I should have asked. No, I'm glad you feel comfortable. That is what I wanted. <laughs> uh, breakfast? Uh, you better eat. You need great strength to be a great painter, you know. How can we ever thank you? You can't. Uh, if I don't hurry, I will be late for my first appointment at the gallery.
Wow. Impressive. Where did you learn how to do that? Our grandpa taught me every day after school. Alice, too. But she won't help me out anymore. What do you mean? She's too busy learning how to paint. It's all she thinks about. Maybe you should be learning things, too. You're 16. You're going to have to finish high school sometime. I don't like to study. What do you like? This. <laughs> but I just can't get it right. You know, I have a friend I would like you to meet. A fellow who happens to own a boxing gym. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Nothing. We're on. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, yeah. Alice doesn't really like for me to fight. I guess we don't have to tell her then, do we? So what do you think? Can you find something to do here? Awesome. <laughs> Justice. Good to see you. Uh -huh. Who do we have here? Half of my latest project. His name is Ken Chung. Ken, this is Lee. New in town. He's got some great moves. See what you think. Hey, uh, Freddy. Get this kid some gloves. Come with me, kid. other half? His sister, a painter. Asking for trouble. We'll see. Keep the kid busy, will you? I don't want her worrying about it. Sure. Yeah. What about May? No news. So, good news. Even better. Because I believe we may have a new client. Hey, is that the best you can do? Okay. Bags are one thing. Yes. Let's see how he does in the ring. Okay. Hey, not bad. Not bad. You want to try sparring? Sure. Hey, Rob. Take him for a couple rounds. Don't worry, won't hurt you too much, kid. Don't worry, old man. I won't make you look too bad. <laughs> Get him out of here. I don't want somebody seeing this. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Listen, we're having a competition here tomorrow night. You should come. Maybe make a few bucks. Bucks? As in American money? How? I'm in. Yeah, I like your attitude. <laughs> yeah, sure, fighters can make a little cash. Um, but of course, it's the winners who make the most. <laughs> Land of opportunity. I love it! Come on, Marty. Something, anything, because the bosses are all over me on this one. Well, you were right about the paint. There was something funny. We missed it the first time. Now we're talking. So, oil paint on her hands and on her jeans. Lead-based. 
That's odd. That's what I thought. Lead was banned in most paints years ago. Well, most, but not all. Meaning? I'm not sure yet, but I have a hunch. Such a great investigator. Got a hunch about a man for me? Thanks for this. so much canvas paint time before <laughs> if I'm not good now I can only blame myself Alice I have a favor to ask yes look here Van Gogh yes the painter who once said he had no technique I've never seen a real Van Gogh before is there one in Seattle this particular painting disappeared during World War II and hasn't been seen since. But yes, there are a couple at the Seattle Art Museum. Have you never been to a museum? No. Well, we must get you there pronto. Well, I remember that copy we did. And I know it's not what you want to do, but I was hoping that you would consider copying this for me. Why? It's for a friend also an immigrant from Croatia. He's been very ill, doesn't have much time, maybe a year, maybe less. And that is his favorite painting. Oh, I owe him a lot. I know it sounds rather grandiose, but I just want to give it to him. Now, of course, he'll know that I didn't find it, and we'll have a good laugh over that. Will you? Mr. Sullivan. Justice. Please, call me Justice. Justice, Ken and I are so much in your depth, but I don't think I can get this right. I can't even see the brush stroke. I have a better version, about the same size as the original. Well, excuse me, why don't you give him that? I just feel that you can do it better. In my country, when we did copy, we sent our name in the back of the painting. Could I do that? No. I'm really not that good. I don't know how to paint like Van Gogh. I don't want you to paint like Van Gogh. I want you to paint like you are Van Gogh. Could I think about it? Of course. And Alice, Whatever you decide, it's okay. Oh, I've been thinking. Eventually, you're going to need some visas for you, Ken, and your father. We are not going to have him coming over in a container ship. I'll work on it. Have you seen this girl? No. no. Okay. Sir, have you seen this girl? Take a good look. Nothing at all. Les, have you seen this girl? Has she ever bought anything from you here? Anything at all? Nothing? Thank you. How about you, miss? You ever seen her around the marketplace? I'm just trying to ID her, please. What are you doing, Picasso? Leaving. What? You want to run away again? I'm not running away. I'm leaving. There's a difference. And you would be going where? It doesn't matter. We'll be fine wherever we go. We, we are not leaving. You are leaving. Ken, listen to me. Something is not right. What? I don't know. Is it? Did he? No. Then? 
He wants me to paint a Van Gogh. So what? You did it at home all the time. It's different here. I just don't feel it right. I don't get it. What does it matter if you paint flowers or Picasso? Nothing. You want to run away just because you don't feel right? Just trust me. I'm not going anywhere. Ken, you're coming with me. Dad put me in charge of you. Get your things together. Dad is not here. And I'm not leaving. Do you want to go back to the streets? Are you crazy? Alice, this is everything you ever wanted. A place to paint, to be an artist. This is your dream come true. But Ken, it's still just a dream. None of this is ours. But it can be ours. Listen to me. Just listen, Alice. He's giving you, me, the chance of a lifetime. I don't know why he's doing it, and I don't care. I just know he likes us. He's nice to us, and he wants to help. Besides, how else will we ever get that here? So he doesn't want to get into your pants? No. Oh, is he gay? No. Well, then he wants to get into your pants. No, he doesn't. Look, my dear, if he doesn't want to get in your pants, he's gay. And if he isn't gay, he wants to get into your pants. That's the way it's always been since the beginning of time. Men are pigs. No, he's not. Then he's just nice. Well, maybe then he's a eunuch. He doesn't want anything from me. Except that painting. A Van Gogh, off with his ear, like the one we saw in the museum that I had to drag you away from? I've never seen a real one before. Sure, but it was so alive. The brush strokes, the colors, the mix of colors. And you know, the branches seems to be breathing. It's so swell branch, I agree. If only I could ever be that good. What's wrong? Maybe it would help to train you. He's been so generous. But I don't feel right copying other people's work. Look, every artist in that great big museum had to start somewhere. A lot of them had to paint shit that they didn't like. Mm. You have here what we call a patron. Someone who wants to support you. So? So take what life offers you. Life gives you lemons, make lemonade, but add a shitload of vodka, it helps. Look, Alice, it could be worse. I get to do it again? 
Yeah, sure. You bet. Where have you been? Where did you get this from? I found it on the street. It fell from a big tree. I told you money grows on trees. Again, seriously, tell me, where did you get this from? Well, I'm looking for the cement at the diner. Doing what? Oh, you know, washing dishes, taking orders, cooking food, stuff like that. Cooking food? Sure, sis. This is America. Anybody can do anything they want. And you get this much for one night? Sure, sis. Everybody likes me. I make them laugh. They give me a good tip. And since you haven't sold any paintings yet, I should bring in the bucks. Don't you think, Alice? You're sweaty. What? I was working really hard. Besides, I went to Sullivan's gym today. I mean, Mr. Sullivan. I heard you were at the gym today, Ken, and that everyone was very impressed with you. Have you been fighting? No, no, there's no fighting there. It's just a gym, a couple of punching bags, that sort of thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we should all get some sleep, because tomorrow I will start a new painting. Not any thing type painting. The paint I'm looking for has lead in it. It's becoming more shishi. Organic paint is what I call it. No additives. Kind of like the way the old masters used to do it. It's very expensive. Do you remember anyone buying it? Well, it's not the students for sure. They can't afford it. And who wants lead poisoning? Wait here. I got something back. Why are sizzly colors different? We use genuine historical pigments like the ones used by the old masters. Blah, blah, blah. No modern additives. The character found in each tube of our oil colors is unique, giving the artist new choices of texture, opacity, consistency, tone, and hue. You experience the transparencies of yellow ochre. That's what I want. Fullness of huh? I mean. Excuse me? I need that kind of paint. That's what I was looking for. Oh, please. I'd like to look around some more. That young lady knows what she wants. Uh, any particular color? All of them. Young lady? You know what these cost? No, but it doesn't matter. I'll take them. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Do you want to get into my pen? Excuse me? I, uh, n no. Are you gay? Uh, no. Mm, then you must be a eunuch. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> so much for discretion, detective. I did my part perfectly. Never mind. Her. Was she ever in here? Did she ever... Good God, she looks dead. She is. She was. She did. Same thing as a girl that was just here. An Asian thing, don't you think? If she comes back, you call me. Mr. Jelani, it's Justice Sullivan. Fine, thank you. Good news. Yes. 
the Van Gogh. A couple of weeks, perhaps? Oh, you will not be disappointed. Good. Thanks. Come again. Oh, wow, my favorite Asian painter. This is for you. Huh? Wow. Thank you for the good advice. Oh, really? For me? Huh. Just what I always wanted. What is it? Well, kidding, kidding. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. Huh. Ah, we're going to put it right over there with a big sign painted by Alice Chiang. Husband, there's another unit. Huh? The guy that just came in. You are following me. No, I'm not. Kick his lying ass, Wait. Asian girl. <laughs> stop. Ah. Stop. Stop. Okay, please stop. I am following you. I'm interested in an Asian girl. Pervert. No, no, not like that. <clears throat> Let me explain. Hmm. Are we supposed to believe that this is legitimate? I'm a homicide detective investigating the murder of a female Asian painter. Why are you following me? Because you're a painter. How do you know? Because you run the art store buying oil paints. Hmm. He's good. The other girl that was murdered, also a painter. So she was Asian and she painted. What does that have to do with me? Perhaps you're in danger of the same fate. Why don't you come down to the station with me? I'd rather not. And I'd like you to leave now. You heard what she said. Get out of my restaurant. What if you're already in danger and don't know it yet? Well, I guess I'll find out soon. Well, when you do, let me know about it. You may need my help. Why did you call him a eunuch? Well, he isn't gay, and he doesn't want to get into my pants. Very impressive. You scared me. Thank you. You're very good at this, you know. Painting? Or copying? Well, I would say both. It teaches me to do this. I'm not as bold in my own work. So when do you think? This? I see. Three days. Maybe two. like before, okay? You've got this. Just make sure it gets through. Right. I think this kid is the real thing. I would do things a little different after hours here, folks. No rounds, no judges. The fight will continue until one man can't stand. And to my right, standing six foot four, 260 pounds from Chicago, the infamous Hannibal. <laughs> Standing five foot six, a slight 160 pounds. Ken Jong. Fighters, this is your last chance to place bets, people. One to one odds. Fighters to the center. Let's touch hands. All right. All right. Let's see some blood. 
I could take him. Even before we started, he's way too big, way too slow. I see a promising career ahead of you, Ken. <laughs> Don't tell Alice, though. <laughs> She's gonna know something from the look of you. Where were you? I'm going to sleep in my room. It's late. Don't want to keep you up. Good night. You're not going anywhere. Get in here. You've been fighting. Alice, I swear. You're lying. Working out, not fighting. And you get bruises like this from working out? No. I got this. And this. And this. You aren't the only one who can work, Alice. I have something I can do, and I'm going to do it. You promised me. I know, but I take it back. It was not a good reason to make a promise. Those guys would have hurt you. If you didn't know how to fight, you wouldn't be here. Alice, this is who we are. This is what we learned from our grandfather. This is what I have, all I have. I'm not smart like you. I don't want to go to college and I can't talk about art. I wanted everything to be different here. I see you painting, Alice. Doing what you were born to do. Let me do what I was born to do. So, you aren't working for Elizabeth? Nah, she's my cover. We're by appointment only. I have a 1.30 appointment. Oh, let me check. Mm. It doesn't seem to be here. My mistake. I'm sorry. Thank you. I 
friend will be most pleased. Mr. Johnson. I wasn't expecting you till later. I'll make you something. Thank you, sir. Alice, I have some very good news. Here. What is this? This afternoon, we sold one of your paintings. Um, I know you don't have a bank account yet, so I brought you your share in cash, $1,900, minus the gallery's commission. <gasps> so that's close to $1,000, Alice. Which painting? Who bought it? The one showing the young Chinese girl playing the flute. <laughs> All right. Who's the buyer? Do you know their name? <laughs> well, it was bought by a nice young woman who was... Uh, I want to meet her. Why? Ken, sit down. To thank her. Besides, if somebody has something I made, it means we're connected in some way. Well... Thank really. you, Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan Justin. <laughs> that's very nice, Alice. Can I meet but her tomorrow? Uh, you, <laughs> you, that's not how the professional world works. Oh, can I come too? <sighs> you don't need to thank her. She's been rewarded by your painting. Besides... You can buy her flowers. No, I'm sorry. Justice, can we please, please meet her? This is the first painting I've ever sold. No! People who buy art value their privacy, Alice. My job is to take care of the client as well as the artist. Please, don't make that difficult for me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. We're very sorry. Excuse me, Mrs. Ryan. I won't be eating after all. I just remembered I have a conference call in a couple of minutes. Wonderful. Elizabeth, I'll come back another time. No, Alice, stay right here. I asked him to be here when you came. Why? Because I'm worried about you. Alice, listen to me. That girl who was murdered, I believe she was painting for someone. Someone that was paying her to paint forgeries. So what does that have to do with me? That girl seems she had a patron. We found her bag yesterday about a mile out of port with $18,000 cash. So what? Alice, 
Don't pretend with him. He's okay. He's just trying to help. Everyone here is just trying to help. No, he's a eunuch. What is it with you two and eunuchs? It's our secret code. It means... You're okay. Thanks for coming with me. Did I have a choice? There's a lot of money in art forgeries, Alice, and they need people like you. You mean stupid people? No, talented people. You don't know I'm talented. I do. I saw your paintings at the gallery. I know. You saw my paintings? Yes. It was a babbling brook, a field of flowers, and the third one was what? A young Asian girl playing the flute and very colorful. What? Nothing. Has he asked you to copy someone else's work? He knows many Asian painters are skilled at copying. Have you ever copied a famous painting, Alice? Yes, at my father's shop. I thought so. I need to go now. Wake up, Alice. Just because you're innocent doesn't mean everyone is. These are dangerous people who'll do anything for money. I think you're just out to get us. Finally, something good happened to me and my brother, and you're trying to ruin it. You don't know how hard it is and how hungry we are. That's what they're counting on. Your hunger to make it and your belief that you deserve this. But, but, but don't I? You really believe that's how it works? It's America. Anyone can make it. Bullshit. It's not real, Alice, and I think you know that. I know you're illegal. I could bring you in for that right now, but I need you to help me get Sullivan. Because that other girl, she didn't deserve to die. And besides, it could have been you. Instead, they propose using the ratio of employed people to the total population as a more meaningful metric. Today, in news from the art world, a noted antiquities and oil painting expert was arrested and charged with criminal fraud. The expert, Brad Johnson of Seattle, is accused of falsely authenticating scores of paintings and sculptures. One of the counterfeited paintings currently hangs in London's Tate Museum. Another was discovered at the <laughs> curators of the museum. Get everyone. Everyone? Everyone! Yes, sir. Shit has hit the fan. I'll get it. Justice Sullivan, where is he? doing I don't understand let's talk about this let's sit down and talk about this how can I help you what seems to be the problem 
You neglected yeah. to tell me something about the painting I paid you $22 million for like it isn't real. If it is not, I was fooled as well. Who painted it? Him? I don't like being cheated. More than that, I don't like being played for a fool. I want my money now! It is not here. <laughs> 421, shots fired at my location. Send back up, I'm going in. Help Where's me. my money? Where's my fucking money? Kill the kid! Kill the kid! <laughs> <laughs> to us, Alice, I didn't. It wasn't real, was it? Alice, please, help me. Again. Let's go. Find you here, you'll be deported. Go to the restaurant now. I need to get my paintings. Alice, come on! Hurry! Well, here he is, Mr. Nick Thompson himself. Okay, and just two waffles. Hello, Nick. <laughs> Alice, you better come on over here. Are you here to arrest me? Well, I don't see what good that would do. You didn't know what Sullivan planned to do with your painting, did you, Alice? I might have. I don't know. Alice. He told me not to sign my name in the back of the painting. But you did sign, so that means you're innocent. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure I'm right about this or not. You tell me. Because I believe you kids were in on this thing the entire time. What? Huh? You were working with me starting from a few days after you arrived. I've got Elizabeth to back me up on that. Mm -hmm. The night she was robbed, we met that night. And you two went undercover for the city of Seattle Police Department. Isn't that right? Oh, I was right here when it happened. In fact, I made a point of noting it the first time you were here in the restaurant, Alice. 
Mm -hmm. Good thinking, Elizabeth. Uh, what? Now, Alice, did Sullivan say anything about sponsoring you and Ken? Yes. Well, I just so happen to be the first one to go through all of his mail, but I don't think these belong to him. I think they belong to you. You saved her life. In fact, you even saved my life that night. This is the least the United States of America can do for you. Welcome to America. <laughs> In the meantime, you two can go on staying with me. It's going great so far. And besides, I don't have children of my own, and someday, someone's going to have to run this place. <laughs> Excuse me. Who can we talk to about these paintings? We love this one. That's my favorite. Thank you. Hey, Moosh is looking, the guy that tried to grab my purse. 